Just to Australia's north, two warships from the People's Liberation Army Navy are closely tracked. Shortly after midnight on Thursday, in the Arafura Sea, an RAAF aircraft was also flying in the area. The P-8 Poseidon was hit by a laser similar to this, but from a military-grade device. I can see it no other way uh, than a an act of intimidation. Last weekend, the ADF began tracking a Chinese guided missile destroyer and an amphibious transport ship near Christmas Island. The warships made their way through the Timor Sea and then into the Arafura Sea, where, on international waters but inside Australia's exclusive economic zone, the laser attack occurred before the Chinese vessels left through the Torres Strait and off towards the Coral Sea. I thought it was a reckless and irresponsible act and it, uh, it should not occur. It's an outrageous act of aggression that should be condemned and I condemn it. Laser attacks on ADF assets have increased in recent years, particularly in the South China Sea. But so close to Australia, senior military figures have described this incident as appalling, unprofessional, even potentially deadly if flight systems had been damaged. What's astounding about this laser attack is not only the brazen way it was conducted and its easy attribution to the Chinese ships, but the speed at which we found out about it. Defence has typically been very slow at revealing similar encounters. But in the midst of a raging domestic debate over national security, cumbersome clearance processes have suddenly been accelerated, putting full public transparency ahead of traditional secrecy. We can expect this kind of confrontational activity from the Chinese military in the Pacific, regardless of who wins government. And with a growing Chinese presence in this region, the military's bracing for more close encounters and the risks of miscalculations they can bring. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.